So really like codify things because yes, right now, what we are basically doing is we are brute forcing those LLMs by feeding them billions of parameters. And it looks like magic, but in reality, it's basically a very, 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 very large if statement. And the logic itself is not very complicated logic by itself. And what you're trying to say is that if we build out this more robust logic and we train LLMs on that, like or all systems on that more robust logic, the pattern recognition will become faster with less less required inputs. Is that kind of what I understand? Well, so I think that's a good way of characterizing it. And um, uh, and there is still an open question of when you build an AI system, or, or I should use the word, when you architect an AI system, is what is your cognitive architecture of that system? So I think the way you characterized it, um, the cognitive architecture of the system is an LLM where it gets some data and it gets some rules and it, it learns on that. But there are many other cognitive architectures in which, I mean, you can imagine a cognitive architecture in which LLM is just a component. You know, there's a piece of code which has a certain steps or certain processing it does, but to do certain steps, it calls an LLM. Okay, so there is that architecture. And, you know, I, at a very high level, I like to call that as an architecture, which is based on a human mental representation. Right. So there is a certain way we as intelligent humans would approach a particular task. Let's build that out into the software. And some steps of that performance of the task, we can ask LLM to do. And so that's a slightly different way of architecting your AI system. I mean, we can't say for sure which one is going to work better, but I certainly prefer the second approach where LLM is used as a component of a larger AI system. Yeah. So like in our own code that we do in my company, we leverage LLMs as a way to assist people and not like as a primary agent because it tends to hallucinate and make mistakes. So right now people are building purely agentic LLMs, which means LLMs, calling LLMs and calling LLMs. But what you're mentioning to me is this human-like cognition.